What up, y'all? It's your boy JB, aka Spoken, and I am here with another thing of unspoken truth. Man, 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 man. Look, before we get started, y'all make sure y'all hit subscribe, y'all like, y'all hit the notification bell, and hit all so you can see all my stuff. All right, I appreciate y'all for checking out my stuff. Now, check it out, Lonzo Ball. Oh Lord, I don't know where we finna go at with this. So y'all forgive me if I get a little disrespectful. Okay. Um <clears throat> I'm, I'm trying not to. God, Lord. Good Lord. Uh, Lonzo Ball went on Big Boy in the morning. All right. And, you know, it was a little dope interview. And I made sure I watched the entire interview before I gave my two cents. Okay. Because I've been a little twisted about the situation. And I ain't really know how to respond. And, you know, so I had to at least give him the benefit of doubt and say, all right, man, let me go ahead and watch the entire interview and not that little 10 second clip. So, Lonzo. If y'all don't know, man, uh, I think last year or a couple years ago, one of those years, he got on an interview and um, he said something about nobody bumped Nas or whatever, and you know, you know, he bumped Future. All right, he preferred Future over Nas, and a lot of people drug him for that. All right, and you can have your opinion, you know, you can have your opinion, you can say whatever you want to say, but. Uh, he went on the show and, and Big Boy brought it up and, and you know, um, Lonzo challenged him. Lonzo walked into a debate and said, look, man, you know, let's pull out the debate chairs. Let's go ahead and get into it. How many classics does few, does Nas have, um, you know, since he's since y'all say he's top five or whatever, you know? And uh, he, he gave his, his respect at the beginning by saying, he, you know, obviously he's a legend and all that. Now, let me tell you something. <clears throat> I'm from the 90s, all right? Now, I wasn't the biggest Nas fan at all. I don't really know his albums like that. I, I will tell you that. I'm going to be truthfully honest, all right? I'm just going to be real honest all right, about this. But at the same time, I don't know hardly any of future shit either. Now, but I'm not no dummy. I'm not no fool. I know good music when I hear it, and I know dope stuff when I hear it. Now, here's what we're going to get into, all right? This is what we're going to get into. I feel like this. When it comes to comparing, I feel like you need to compare only within the era. That's going to just clean cut, just stop all the nonsense and all the bullshit. Because what happens is, you know, and we got a real big problem with this in our generation now. In this day and age, the kids, they don't give a flying fuck. All right? Not at all. They don't give a damn about nothing. And they got little to no dis no respect towards the old heads. All right? The old heads are just people or the elderly. You know what I'm saying? People older than them. And they don't, you know, the, 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 the lack of respect is real out here. I mean, as far as humility, humanity, all that stuff, you know, um, for music, everything, art. It's just... It just went downhill. I'm not saying that the, it's it's not young cats out here that's not creative. It's not young cats out here that's not respectful. It's plenty of them out here. But in a grand scheme of things, um, for the most part, these little niggas are disrespectful. Now, here's how we bridge that gap. Never compare an old era, somebody who accomplished a lot from an old era and bring them into the fight and the debate for the new. You can't compare Michael Jackson to Chris Brown. I mean, you can try. You can try, but Michael Jackson gonna always fucking win the shit to an old head. Chris Brown might end up winning for a new head, but if you got some fucking common sense, you know it's Michael Jackson. Same thing when it comes to this, when it comes to the Lonzo Ball thing with Nas and Future. Now let's be real. We know Nas is way more lyrical than Future. And Future is classified as a mumble rapper, all right? Because I'm going to be real. You know, I'm going to be real. Future do jam, okay? Jam is a feeling, okay? It's a feeling. You know, when you go to the club, I want to hear jams. I don't want to hear, you know, uh... All that stuff that's that's gonna make me think too goddamn much. So I can understand if if you looking at it from that perspective. But when you talking about but when you start talking about who's better, I don't want to hear that, man. You know feel I me? Mean? I I don't want to hear that, and I feel like it's just straight disrespectful because what that does is if we don't bridge that gap and and there is no understanding between 
the older generation and the newer generation of just of just saying look you can't touch this then that's 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 gonna lead to disrespect from here on out this is the reason why these little niggas talking crazy they talking crazy because they feel like they're obligated to do so because it ain't nothing you gonna do about it all right you ain't gonna put your hands on them you ain't gonna do nothing but just say what the hell is wrong with you that's all you're gonna say and and, and you know that's all you're gonna do and you know i just feel like man um Man, these new kids, man, they smoking rocks, bro. Like, they smoking straight rocks. Like, they smoking straight up rocks. To com- try to compare Future to Nas in the same sentence, that is disrespectful, bro. You just don't do that. That's You just can't put apples and oranges together. You just can't. You just can't do that, man. And, and in this case, Nas is the apple and the orange, and Future ain't nothing but a fucking walnut. All right? This nigga is a mumble rapper. And I'm going to tell you, man respect wise as far as respect overall respect let's be real man Nas got that shit beat by a long shot when it comes to legendary status Nas got this man beat by a long shot legendary status has a lot to do with respect so you mean to tell me future got more respect than Nas is that what you're saying is that what you're saying Cause you know, I don't know, man. I, I don't really know how to really touch on this right here. Cause I'm so twisted about this entire thing. But I will say this, man. When it comes to debate, stop comparing the old with the new. Okay? Those things just don't even need to be brought up. You need to have respect for what came in the past. You need to have respect for the people who came before you. Or came before these certain type of artists because if it wasn't for Nas, there would be no future to even mumble. And stop comparing, stop talking about classic albums and classic projects and stuff like that. Number one, future be using Pro Tools or whatever. He used Logic or whatever the hell he used. Nas didn't come from the time. Nas came from the times when you had to go to the studio, you had to pay all these thousands of dollars just to get your stuff mix master you had to pay for the recording and he came from the from the from the tape era you feel me the tape era where you actually had to record with the film with the film and process that joker and time moved a lot more slower at that time you can't compare somebody who dropped nine albums in one year and then you gonna try to compare it to Nas and talking about well he ain't got as many in future. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just saying you can't do that, man. Don't do that, man. Because you know that the, the change in time is real. We back in the day the artists wasn't moving how these artists are moving now. These artists now can literally drop four albums in, a, in in one night if they want to. Ain't nobody stopping them. They ain't got no labels in the way like that. You know it's just a different time that we live in. So don't ever compare a old situation to a new situation that ain't right especially when that old cat especially the the older cat has a lot of respect out here and they out here changing and saving lives what lives future save because i because the last time i checked future ain't doing nothing but killing niggas all right and his lyrics that's all he doing Telling people how to drink dirty Sprite, all this other stuff. I bet I get my bitch back. I don't want to hear that, bro. Like, look, to each his own, all right? To each his own. Look, you listen to who you want to listen to. Everybody got their own preference. But I will say this. If we go into conversation respecting, having more respect for who came before us, it wouldn't be no disrespect because this wouldn't even be no conversation. And I feel like that will actually bridge the gap between, you know, and actually stop the nonsense from flying around. And this is why a lot of cats be walking around saying, oh, man, who listens to them now? They fell off. Golly, bro. Like, who was saying that back then? Back in the 90s, nobody was, fell off wasn't even a word. It wasn't even a thing. In the early 2000s, fell off wasn't even a thing. The term fell off now is used more now than ever. Ever. You cannot put out music for a half a year, nigga. Say you fell off. You be gone for a year. I understand you've been gone, but they'll say you fell off, bro. I mean, you can sneeze now, you fell off. You know what I'm saying? 
fell off now, fell off culture now has everything to do with did you feed me enough? If I'm not getting fed enough, then you fell the fuck off. And that's the reason why people are disrespecting or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Because that gap wasn't bridged. It, it, the, the gap wasn't bridged up right, you feel me? It wasn't filled up. When you're walking around saying who listened to such and such and you're comparing it to a new situation, that opens up the lines of disrespect on both ends of the floor. The old heads gonna disrespect the young heads for talking crazy, and the young heads gonna disrespect the old heads for feeling like, nigga, what are you talking about? Ain't nobody bumping them no more. You don't never hear white people walking around talking about Willie Nelson fell off. You don't never hear, you don't never hear Hispanics walking around saying, oh, Ricky Martin fell off. You don't never hear that. When we black folks, when we got artists, the first thing we say, oh, designer, he fell off. Betty Wap, he fell off. God, Lee, bro, can you get these niggas a shot? Because when you put that into the, in the, into the environment, when you bring that, when you put that in the air, you now open up the line of disrespect. And how can they grow? How can they grow when you pretty much stunted their growth by saying that? So I'm going to tell y'all, man, um, um, comparing that type of stuff and not and not really um, having respect for what came before you, that opens up the line of disrespect, man. All right? On all levels. On all levels. So understand what you're doing. Stop stunting the growth of artists, especially the ones that look just like you. Black folks, the only ones that don't allow their entertainers to grow. We don't allow our entertainers to grow the correct way. Leave folks alone, man. People have situations. You feel me? People have lives to live. Ain't nobody finna be doing entertain. Most people ain't finna be doing entertainment until they're 90 years old. That's just not gonna happen. You feel me? But enjoy them while you have them. Enjoy them while you have them. Stop killing them while they're here. And that's what you're doing. Who listens to them anymore? I'm not listening to them no more. I used to bump them about two years ago. Nigga, just, just two years ago. What are you talking about? Golly, bro. And also, too, man, oh, 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 like, like all my older cats, stop arguing with these young niggas, man. Stop. Lonzo Ball, 21 years old, bro. I'm 30. Come on, man. Like, just stop arguing with these youngies, man. You know they drinking special type of water, bro. They, they ain't even drinking water, bro. They, they said what they drinking. They drinking dirty spite. They, 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 they doing all kind of stuff. They smoking rocks, bro. You got to, you, you, you feel me? And you gotta understand, man, like, you know, um, you know, these are some special type crack babies. Like when I was coming up, you know, my generation too was somewhat sort of crack babies as well, but these are special type crack babies. Now the crack babies don't gave birth to 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 new to, 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 to even to to crack babies that's five times worse. You feel me? You feel like you think the kids are gonna turn out right when the crack babies are already birthing them and they already fucked up in the mind too? So, you know, within my childhood, hip hop, it was it was on its bullshit and it was on its real shit too. And the youngin', they got some hip hop that's on some real shit, and they got a lot of bullshit flying around. You know, and that's why the older cats are like, you know what, man, it ain't no type of balance. It ain't no balance at all. It's more fuck shit flying around. <laughs> in this in this day and age than ever before so don't argue with these little dudes all right don't argue with these with these with these people they if they young let them let them do their thing let them let them learn because it, i ain't got time for somebody to be talking about future is better than ours like bruh Hey man, this your boy JB Spoken man. Spoke gang, what up? Y'all make sure y'all hit comment. Y'all mean y'all hit make sure y'all hit the subscribe button, comment, rate, share this video. But yeah, man, be respectful, bro. You feel me? Don't ever compare an old situation to a new. Don't do that. Because all you doing is gonna just open up a, a can of worms that you just can't put out. And that's what we're dealing with now. If we all went into it respectfully and said, look, you know what I'm saying? Who you think is better, future or Nas? Nah? You know what? I'm not going to even get into that. I got a lot of respect for Nas. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, he's a legend. You know, and I like future, but, but I'm just not going to get into that. You know what I'm saying? I, out of respect for Nas and Nas' legacy or anybody that come before you. Stop feeling like, you know what I'm saying? And that's why these, these, these little dudes, these little cats walking around feeling like they just ain't got to pay no homage. Ain't no homage being being paid at all out here nowadays. These newer cats ain't reaching back to the older ones because they feel like they're walking around the mindset of you fell off. That's why they're not reaching back. 
They're not reaching back, you feel me? And that's not building the community, it's hurting our community. And so this is way bigger than what we think it is, but the younger ones don't feel that way. So we can, we can fix the problem. We can fix the problem. And I know it's a bunch of little niggas in here listening to this shit now, but y'all need to listen, bro. We can fix the problem. Stop, stop with the whole fell off culture. Stop with the whole who's still bumping such and such, who's still rocking such and such. Bro, stop it, bro. Stop killing people while they living. Stop doing that, man. It's fucked up. Damn.